Well, you would do that because um, the, the behavior of molecules uh, as we uh, observe it and, and uh, as it's relevant to uh, things uh, around us is uh, the result of very many complex interactions. Um, and this coarse graining we do to uh, reduce the effort, computational effort, to, to get a grip on, on, on that behavior. Yeah, in, in general, any, anything uh, in, in which uh, the functional groups determine the, the behavior can be studied. But we ourselves have a lot of experience with lipid molecules. And uh, these are, of course, very important in, in living systems because lipids are the main uh, building block of uh, membranes which are everywhere in our bodies. But also for industry, they can be very important because uh, emulsions and, and a lot of industrial products uh, contain these lipid molecules. Okay, so in coarse grading, you simplify the system. So how do you know that, uh, that your simulations, your results make sense? Yeah, we, we compare our, our, uh, the behavior of our molecules in our coarse grain model to, to our more detailed models. Of course, we cannot do that on the same scale but we can have some small test systems for which we uh, uh, basically ascertain that our coarse grain model does the same as the, as the more detailed model. And that is how we uh, get confidence in the coarse grain model and then apply it to much larger systems. Okay. Well, I, I hope uh, that, that most of all they have a, a better perspective on, on these methods and what it can and cannot do. Uh, and also that they see connections between things they already knew and things they now see in the school, also from, from different aspects. And I think if you see more connections, that automatically already changes the way you do science. Because the way uh, you think about things uh, determines the way you then tackle a particular problem. Uh, and in that sense, in this school, I think what is great about it is that there's so much time for hands-on experience because only uh, you can sit and listen to things and, and maybe get ideas, but if you also have the opportunity to go hands-on and, and experience the, the programs, uh, that helps enormously. Um, I mean, maybe the only thing that you get is that, that you see how, how easy it is to use a particular program, uh, which you only get if you actually experience it. So.